Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. North Edge, you've heard of them, the high-end uh, smartwatches from a while ago. They are back with a really interesting and relatively inexpensive smartwatch. Take note, they even have test reports on this one. They're listed right here on the box. It's a very unique design and perfect for a gift. You open it by sliding the center section out where you find the watch floating in a little cardboard hiding compartment. When you lift that off, wow, this is a flashback to the early Android smartwatch days when they packaged a watch on a little pillow. Very, very attractive. Uh, definitely a high-end gift-giving type of a watch. Where can you get it? through their official store, the North Edge official store on AliExpress. It's a really decent price, under $60, and check. We'll see if we can get a coupon discount for you as well. That'll be listed in the show notes. Amongst other things, you have altitude, compass, air pressure. It's a 1.43-inch uh, AMOLED screen, and get this, 50 meter or 5 ATM waterproofing. So a lot of really great features uh, go into this one. Let's take a look at the overall specifications. Uh, GPS is in it, so it has um, the GPS tracking as well. You've got dual band, uh, dual frequency satellite positioning, so you should be able to get a good fix anywhere. 466 by 466, that is really high resolution. Hyper Retina, I guess. Uh, AMOLED, again, screen, which gives you longer battery life. Uh, heart rate, blood oxygen, heart health, stress, and sleep monitoring are in it with over 130 different sports modes. You're looking at 20 days long battery standby and 10 different languages. The uh, app used for this one is um, Zeroner, okay? It's Zeroner Health. And we've done a couple of really excellent reviews on that app. Check in the show notes where I list the uh, link to the app. And definitely take a look at both of those. They complement each other. We're going to highlight the app today, but not go into nearly the detail that I did, uh, did on these other watches. Health functions are listed here. Your sports exercise are listed here. you got quite a few different uh, exotic and interesting things that you can do. Um, you've got reminders, call reminders, SMS, again, altitude, barometer. You've got remote camera, music control. All of those are in here. Overall, there's your specs again. Bluetooth 5.0, uh, 50 meter waterproofing, and the supported languages. As we dive deeper into the box, you find... Oh, I took the charging wire out because I've been charging it. I'll bring that over here in a second. Um, and this is the little rubber band that's on the charging wire. You have a, a little card that you can get, and you can open that QR code and go to Facebook and check out their store there. A little uh, one-year international warranty card is with it. And then the manual, which folds out like this, pages 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll go across the top. There's the QR code for the uh, Zeroner app. And not too many uh, devices use that app, but it's a really good one. Your basic operation, the power key, the quick uh, exercise key. And you can program whatever exercises you want in there. And wow, I think we're into different languages already, right? Wow, okay. I'm not sure where we're going. Now we're over here to app downloading and pairing. What else have we got? The pairing information in English. Main features are down here. And instructions. Water resistance over here. And device care. Uh, they're all mixed up, but then there's other languages as well. I think that covers pretty much the English part of the manual. Now, the charging wire. This one is an interesting and unique design, two-pin magnetic coupling type of a watch uh, charger. We pop the watch off of the pillow, and you see how the back has got a little contour right there. And get it aligned right, which is this way, I guess. This will 
slide right into that little suppression area and charge it that way. It's a relatively short cable, so pretty much you're going to have to have your USB charger up near your nightstand or in the bathroom, wherever you're going to do it. Uh, but that's the charging wire on it. Now, when we open it up, you can see the band is a two-tone, very nice, rubberized, high-end band. Really, really exquisite. And when we tap the top button and hold it, give it a couple of seconds, it's uh, all charged up and vibrates, and it's coming up to tell you what, what, what? It's saying, hello. That's a cute logo. And opens into its original opening uh, watch face, which is an analog face. There's a few stock faces in here. When we pull it down, you got do not disturb, your brightness level control, a short timeout on this one, a flashlight, which is really, really bright, and it'll go off automatically when you touch it. Music player. This is home. You don't see a home key on smartwatches very often, and this takes you actually into your app drawer, which we'll look at here in a little while. And then the last thing is overall settings, where you have quite a few interesting switches. 12 and 20, I'm sorry, 24 hour heart rate, uh, 24 or 12 hour time, a smart track, which will automatically detect when you're exercising, whatever you want to program the bottom button to be for your exercise of choice, the different languages, you can set the date and time. Of course, it'll pick that up from your phone about the device, your Bluetooth information, then you can reset or shut down. And those are all the functions in the settings, and that's what happens when you swipe down. Swiping up now gives you messages sent from your phone, if you have any. And now we'll go around the world this way. We've got training status. I don't know how to use this one. It computes your VO2 max and uh, predicted grade, one mile, five kilometer, 10 kilometer, half a marathon, or full marathon. No idea how to use that. Sorry, uh, beyond me. Then we get into a real-time heart rate. And you can see I took it off briefly there, and I took a shower, put it back on. So it gives you the reading, and it's going to compute the current heart rate using the green diode technology. Swipe again now, and we're into something here. This is stress measurement. It takes it a long time to go around the full circle. It wants they want you to sit down, uh, relax, keep quiet, and don't move with your watch facing up. And I'm not sure what that picture represents. But anyway, once it does that, it'll uh, give you a stress measurement here. Zero to 100% lower is better. Here's blood oxygen, and every hour uh, since midnight to midnight, and you should be up in the higher upper 90s. And it's using green diode technology, not red, but it'll give you a blood oxygen reading. Again, the circle goes around for that to happen. And we're into uh, all of the different circles, monitoring your step count, calories burned, distance traveled, and so forth. And it's showing you over time now, each hour when your uh, calorie burned, when your step count happened, and when you were standing versus sitting or not moving. That is the last of these. This brings us back home. And again, you can loop through these in either direction. Take a look at the uh, step count or your training status or whatever you want to do. Now, we're going to get into the uh, apps themselves. Once again, you can press here or... You can come down and use that home button. That'll take you here. It starts out with workout, and here's where you can choose what you'd like to, uh, to do. And once again, we have GPS in this watch, so you can do running, cycling, or outdoor walking, possibly hiking, and get a uh, track being recorded by the watch, which will transfer over to the app of your actual exercise. And by the way, be sure to check the show notes for the link to the review of the app, because in one of those, I've got a nice recording of an actual track, and it's not just boom, there it is. It actually builds itself from the start to the very finish. Really worth seeing. Um, workouts are there. You've got your exercise record here. As you do these different activities, they'll appear here. You can go in and get more of the data, or of course, you can go to the uh, tethering app and do that. 
you watch faces let me show you this we have that analog one we have uh, this one which is an active face where these different things are touch buttons you can have a timer you could go to your uh, exercise records and so forth those four buttons are active of course, you can change watch faces by pressing and holding. Here's another analog face in blue. Pretty attractive with the, uh, the way the steel appearance of this, the gunmetal look of the case. You press again, you get into the digital one. That's the one that we saw on the uh, app, I believe, or on the cover of the manual. Uh, digital display in 12 or 24 hour time, however you set it up. And after all these stock faces, you can get into a custom dial. Look familiar? That was the classic one from the old analog, uh, or the old uh, Android smartwatches. We even built that into a custom watch face that you could download on any Android watch. And here it is. A little bit different. The date's down here. I think it was over on the right. But this is one of them from the app, from the um, different uh, faces that are available. And I really like this one at night. It's great. So we were doing uh, the app drawer, and we had worked our way down to watch faces. Here's altitude and barometer. Now, it's calculating the air pressure from an actual reading inside the watch, and it's uh, adjusting the height based on weather conditions, I guess, and that barometric pressure. This doesn't seem to be fully accurate for where I am. I'm right around 300 feet. At one point, it was 76 feet. It's reading 226 right now, so I'm not sure about this one. Make sure if you really need altitude, if you're skydiving and you don't want to go below a certain... <laughs> yeah, you, you get the drift. Always check the data from these watches, whether it's your heart rate or your altitude or even the compass. Now we have to calibrate this one. I'm coming off camera for a second and bringing it in a big loop so that I can bring it back to you. And there we go. Now I'm sitting in the north and it is very accurate, very responsive. And that's really what North Edge is about. Look at this. They like have a compass mark. So pretty much all of their watches will have a decent compass in it. So you got GPS, you got altitude, you've got uh, barometric pressure, you got a compass. It's turning out this is a real adventurer's uh, watch. It always starts at the top. I, that's the thing I would complain about. If I wanted to use a compass often, I would like to be able to be here, tap it, tap it. It would go right back. It doesn't. You have to scroll down on every single time. Heart health. Now, this is this uh, place where you can turn this on. And when you do, it's going to keep the heart rate sensor on all night. And I should have done that last night. I didn't do it, so I don't have a Lorenz scatter diagram from last night to show you. But fortunately, I do have for the previous two nights. And I'll show you that. But you have to be really mindful. You have to turn this setting on in the watch. It is nowhere in the app. It's totally backwards of every other watch I've seen. So that's the heart health section you have a breath training which is your inhale exhale and depending on where you're at um, you can select one of these and and just go on from there for your uh, relaxation breath here's uh, the uh, events pushed from your phone which we got from the home screen swiping up here's a stopwatch which it does i believe run in the background so we're going to leave that one running and come back and check it in a minute You've got the countdown timers. You saw those already, and you can set custom ones. And you got your languages, which we already showed you basically in the uh, information at the beginning. And it loops, so be careful. You make sure you get back to where you are on English if that's what you want. And then the last thing is your overall settings, and we looked at all those switches that you've got here too. Okay, now it's time to dive into the app. So we're looking for Zeroner in the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Um, the link in the show notes for Google is there. Uh, you can just click on that once you get into here. Install it. You can open it. And then you go through the whole process setting the app up. That's where you're going to put in um, 
all your basic information. You're going to pair it with the watch of your choice, which is in this case is the CrossFit 3. That's what this one's identified for, uh, as from North Edge. And eventually you'll land in this page. Then when you wear it for a while, you'll also have some data. So that's where we're going to pick up. I got some data in here from the past couple of days. Oops, I pushed too far and it's going to go and uh, synchronize again. And it just did. So you see we got some rings, calories burned, blue is... Uh, I guess distance travel, number of times you stood up, all those things are here. And it's by hour, so it's showing you the breakdown there, and it's giving you the individual breakout information as well. And it's showing you the time period in here uh, with each one of those. This is where you can actually go in and activate one of these activities. Um, check again the full review of this uh, particular app from a different watch, that's where you're going to see the, the GPS track and everything is in there. Uh, last night's sleep time, here you go. This is uh, REM, light, deep, and awake. And you can see the breakdown percentage-wise on all of this. Here is the night before, and here is nothing. Okay, so I got that day and that day for something that you can look at. Okay, you got day and month and all that. Here's heart rate. This is the continuous heart rate chart. And here's where I took it off a little bit this morning. And here's a longer period where it was off. And now I just now put it back on. So it does definitely uh, just stop recording your heart rate if you're not wearing it. The different zones that you're in are shown here. Here is uh, yesterday's heart rate activity, which is a little more bouncy up and down than what I'm getting so far today. But it's all there. Then... You have heart health. Now, this is the interesting one where if you have that switch turned on that you have to activate in the watch, remember that you can create, it'll be on all night long, and it will create, this is called a Lorenz scatter diagram. And to give you information about that, your pattern will look in one of several different ways. And... Uh, a normal one, normal sinus rhythm is kind of like this. It's a little bit fatter, almost like a baseball bat or something. Um, if you have these different activities going on in your heart, you'll see these different patterns. Here's atrial fibrillation. Here's atrial flutter. Now, if you guys have watched some of my reviews in the past, in particular, the recent one on the E500, definitely take a look at that if you want to look at ECG charting of AFib and a flutter, These are the patterns that you should see, theoretically, here if that happens during the night and you're not monitoring with ECG. Does it? Does it not? I don't know. I don't have that data, and I wouldn't trust it if I had it. But it's information for you that you could use uh, to talk to your medical professional. Here's some other ones. Here's combination of AFib and ventricular premature. I mean, it just goes on and on. So it's an interesting scientific way to get kind of a 2D visualization with each spot representing heart rate variability differences that uh, has been documented and is used, you know, for helping people understand what's going on with their heart. That's in heart health. Okay, moving on, blood oxygen. You just get a reading per hour, the average, and the breakdown at the time it was taken. It looks like you get one reading every hour on that. And then stress. Not sure how they're doing this. I think it's probably heart rate variability. It tells you if you're relaxed or normal and what your stress is like. Yesterday, here's a day I had a high stress of some sort. And I believe that was true. I think something was happening during that hour that had me kind of... That's, that's midnight. There's another one down here. Here you go. Medium at 1800, 6 p.m. Anyway, that's uh, another aspect of this. So you get all these different measurement readings. Your workout readings are all in here. Your weather forecast is up there. Data. This takes you into uh, the information about the device itself. You can set up the rays to wake the, your, your watch for a period of time. Uh, I just set this. It was set at five seconds at the beginning of the review. You noticed it kept going out. So in a pause, I jumped that up to 60 seconds. You cannot set it from the watch. That's something I wish was here. You're stuck with what you got. 
you have to come into the app, make sure it's paired in order to change the timeout time. Your measurements, state format, weather units, all these other things are there. You can set alarms, smart reminders, and a remote camera from here. Then you've got all these different watch faces to choose from. You can have one on the watch, but you can choose from any one of these. And uh, I showed you the analog one that I chose with just the basic time on it. But they're very, very colorful. And of course, with an AMOLED screen, they're going to pop, you know, with all of the colors and information. So you have those kind, you have mechanical kind, you have cute faces, everybody. I don't consider those cute, actually, but to each their own. They're simple, and I likewise don't consider those simple. That doesn't look simple to me. But they named them something. Here's some sports-oriented ones. And so you got a, quite a few uh, faces that you can pick whichever one is your favorite and install that to the watch directly from the app. And then finally, your profile information. This is where you get everything about you. You can hit that and it's got your uh, height, weight, and all that stuff. You can set your goals like uh, your step counts you want to do every day, a guide, help, links. Oh, link is, uh, you can actually link this one to Strava if you want to or uh, Google for Google Fit. Uh, and permissions and everything else. And that's pretty much the app. Here's what it looks like on, and uh, really a nice and attractive watch with all the things going for it, GPS built in it, 50 uh, meter uh, waterproofing, 5 ATM. And uh, price, it's around $60 or less from North Edge. It's a pretty darn good deal. So that's why I brought this one in. Again, you can pick it up directly from AliExpress at the North Edge official store. And check again the show notes. I should have a coupon discount for you on, on top of all of this. Um, this is definitely one worth looking at, especially if, you, especially if you're an outdoorsy kind of person. Alrighty, gang. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.